how deep should the needle actually go into the skin when you're tattooing it, you want to go for the one to two millimeter mark, which is where the dermis is. If you go too shallow, what you'll see is an opaque or almost like a gray line, and it won't be completely black. And on top of that, it's going to fade when it heals because anything that's in the epidermis or the first layer of the skin, that layer of skin is constantly getting renewed and falling off. So it's going to fade a lot quicker if it's in the top layer of the skin. Now, if you go too deep, on the other hand, you're going to see it blow out. If you get down to the fatty layer of the skin that's beneath the dermis, that's when the ink massively expands. The size of your lines is going to dramatically increase. You're going to lose any details. It's just going to all turn into like a nasty looking blob. You really, really want to make sure that you're hitting that second layer of skin and you're going to feel a vibration in your stretching hand. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't exist when you're tattooing fake skin. You're not really going to feel that. But when you start tattooing people, it's very subtle. But if you look for it and as you become more and more experienced and more and more confident with your tattooing, you will start to feel a vibration in your stretching hand when you're going the right depth. It's hard to describe what that feels like, but as soon as it happens, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You have to also remember as well that different parts of the body are going to have different thicknesses when it comes to the skin. For example, your kneecap is going to be a lot thicker than the side of your neck. And typically it just takes a lot more wear and tear throughout your day-to-day -day life. Your knees are constantly bumping into things. So naturally the skin is thicker than the more delicate parts of your body. For example, the side of your neck, your ribs, your inner thighs, also anything that's bony. If you're tattooing a shin, anything that's close to like a bone, that's gonna be very thin there as well. Like a collarbone is another perfect example of that. Also, as we age, the skin gets thinner too. So old people are gonna have much thinner skin than younger people so you have to be a little bit more delicate there's some needles that you just can't use on people that are at a certain age you're not really going to want to use a 14 liner on them because it's just going to tear them to pieces 